Hi, welcome to my latest video. Well, this should be a quick one. I'm going to review another folding keyboard. Now this one is the smaller brother of one that I recently did from a company called Sampsers. Now that previous one, you could actually connect it through Bluetooth to multiple devices. This one will only support one at a time, that is. You can always change it to whatever you want, but it's meant primarily for iPhones or pads or uh, Androids even Windows that has Bluetooth enabled on it. And it's portable, and it's actually, from what I saw online, it looks pretty interesting, it looks pretty nifty. So I'm gonna open it up here, we'll take a look. Okay, it comes with a little instruction pamphlet. I'll take a quick brief look at that before I demonstrate it. The actual device itself, it's got a PU leather case to it from what I read. Oh, pretty good, pretty good. Let's see, it opens up like this. There we go. It's got a uh, connect button over here. It has a built-in battery. And what it looks like here, they've given you the USB cable to charge it with. It's supposed to be able to hold a charge for up to 40 hours. And uh, that's supposed to last quite a while, actually, depending on how much time you usually stay. You could imagine it definitely would support a business trip or a vacation. It also looks like it comes with, uh, what is this? I think this is a phone stand, so it looks like it comes with a little portable phone stand as well. Let's open this up. Yep, that's what that is. So you put this down and you could actually take it and stand the phone up. It has a little holder here. Here we go, this way. So the phone would go here. It's got a little rubber cushion on the bottom here. You know, not super strong. It probably would break rather easily, but it's something. Whereas this actually feels very sturdy. And when you close it up, it's nice. If you have uh, a coat pocket or something, this would definitely go into it. Definitely a pack, backpack or any computer case of any size should be able to support this. So it looks like it's pretty reasonable. I'm going to go ahead and uh, charge it up, make sure that it's fully charged, and then I'll demonstrate uh, how it works. So stick around. Okay, let's see if we can get this thing connected up to my phone. It says when you open it up, the blue light should come on momentarily, which it does. It says hold this for three seconds and it should start to twinkle the light. It is, it's twinkling now. So then I hit the function and the Q because I have an iOS and you have the choices of those three. I should be able to go into my phone now and see this. Bluetooth. And there we go, Bluetooth 3.0 keyboard is sitting there waiting. Let me hit that. It is now connecting and it's now connected to the keyboard. As I just said though, there are three different types of systems that could hook up. When you hit the function key, you hit Q for iOS, it's written down the bottom there, W for Android or E for Windows. So it's connected now. Let's set up and do a test. Okay, now when I do this on the phone. I have it set up in the notepad. Let's see what it can say. Now is the time for all good persons. Whoops, I made a mistake. Persons to come to the aid of a fellow. I made some mistakes here, but uh, as you can see, it does work. I can type on it to the aid of others. How's that? So it works. I can sit there and type a message if I was in the middle of, uh, you know, sending a tweet or something like that. I could just type it out here instead of having to uh, try to deal with uh, punching the uh, keys on the phone itself. Or an Android or a pad of some sort or in Windows. So it seems to work perfectly. Okay, they say all you have to do to turn it off is just close it and it goes off automatically for the next time you wanna use it. You wanna use it again, you just open it up. Okay, notice how the keyboard popped up on my phone.